Today, prosecutors in the corruption trial of former alderman Ed Burke secretly played or played secretly recorded phone calls they believe showed Burke threatening staff at the Field Museum. CBS 2 political reporter Chris Ty was in court as those tapes were played. He joins us now. Busy day in federal court, Chris. A very busy day and a very busy evening, Joe and Erica. We just received these recordings. We're going to play a clip for you in just a moment. But first, there are four episodes, as prosecutors call them, alleged schemes between Burke and owners of a strip mall, a Burger King, the old post office and the Field Museum. Today, prosecutors zeroed in on the Field Museum and rolled the secret recordings they say prove their case. When top brass at the Field Museum realized they had upset Ed Burke, an influential voice that could derail plans for a fee increase six years ago, they hatched a plan to make him happy. Under an email thread titled, We Have a Problem, bosses suggested pitching their plan to Burke by writing, Let's bring them up to the great man in his history shrine. Burke was upset that his goddaughter, daughter of former Alderman Terry Gabinski, was passed over for a field museum internship that he tried to facilitate. So when the museum leaders came calling to secure his support on the fee increase, Burke is heard saying on a wiretap phone call, I was surprised to hear from you very frankly. I was quite disappointed and surprised that I never heard another word after my initial request. As the museum's government liaison explained why they were calling him, Burke says, quote, So now you're going to make a request of me? I'm sure I know what you want me to do. A top museum official told jurors in court, I perceive that as a threat. And we obviously had a very upset alderman. And so we wanted to think of opportunities to have a more productive relationship. In an email, Field Museum staff wrote, I wonder if we can offer him a mea culpa prize, an internship for a student of his choice. In the end, they offered the goddaughter a full-time position that she later turned down. When Burke presented that option to the goddaughter's mother, she said, How lucky can this kid be? To which Burke summarized, I read them the riot act because of how they handled the application. I want to play for you now the audio that just came into our newsroom moments ago. And the key question today in front of jurors was, did Ed Burke extort the Field Museum because his goddaughter was passed over for that internship? Here is the key moment that really jurors chewed on today. So now that you're going to make a request of me? Well, uh, what I wanted to do was to... I'm sure I know what you want to do because of the chairman of the Committee on Finance calls the president of the park board. You're proposal is going to go nowhere. That was the backdrop. Now, Burke's attorneys confirmed from museum officials that Burke never explicitly demanded that internship in exchange for his support of the fee increase, which did get approved, by the way. The museum's former director was heard telling Burke, when you call, Ed, everybody knows we jump. At around 4 p.m. today, there was a bit of a jump in the courtroom, an emergency break in that trial after one of the therapy dogs Judge Kendall has in court apparently ate an entire bag of treats brought in by one of the jurors. There was apparently some kind of cleanup needed, and then things wrapped up around five. Live in the newsroom, Chris Tide, CBS 2 News. All right, Chris, thanks very much.